Welcome to the presentation AI Plasmid. What is TI Plasmid? TI Plasmid is the tumor inducing plasmid. A TI Plasmid is used as a vector for agrobacterium mediated plant transformation. Using restriction enzymes, plasmid can be linearized and a gene of interest can be ligated. The recombinant plasmid can then be reintroduced into the agrobacterium by a process called transformation. Once the agrobacterium infects the plant cells, the plasmid gets integrated into the plant genome and replicates during cell division. Uh, these are the general features that the TA plasmid carries a segment of DNA called the tDNA that integrates into the plant genome. Uh, the tDNA region of the pla TA plasmid carries, carries uh, genes responsible for inducing tumors in plants. Uh, the foreign, DNA of, introduced, uh, foreign uh, DNA of interest can be cloned into the T region of the plasmid and improved plant rates can be obtained like uh, disease resistance, salt tolerance, etc. Uh, the TI plasmid has all genes for inducing tumor. Uh, it has, uh, or it also has virulence genes. Uh, uh, the vir genes are responsible for excision, transfer, and integration of tDNA into the plant genome. Uh, these are the basic elements of TI plasmid. It has a tDNA border sequence, a virulence region, tDNA region, and opine catabolism region. So you can see here the tDNA tDNA region is flanked by the border sequences, left border and right border, and there comes the T, uh, tDNA region. Those are responsible for producing growth hormones as well as uh, opine. And uh, the TA plasmid also has an opine catabolism region, uh, where uh, the opine produced from the T region can be can be uh, metabolized uh, if, uh, using the enzymes produced from the opine catabolism region. And it also has a virulence region that is responsible for transferring the tDNA, tDNA into the bacterial genome. So coming to the tDNA border sequence, the tDNA region is responsible for inducing tumor in plants and uh, the tumor formation is introduced by producing plant growth hormones for the proliferation of, uh, of the transformed plant cells. Uh, the tDNA region uh, is flanked by 24 base pair direct repeat sequence called the the border sequence. The role of 24 base pair repeat sequence is for the transfer of tDNA into the plant cell. So you can see here the left and right border here. So these are the 24 uh, base pair uh, repeat sequences. Uh, those are involved in uh, transferring the tDNA into the plant cell. And the other region is the virulence region or the, the each has a uh, Vir genes or the virulence genes are that are responsible for creating uh, virulence or inducing the or inducing or excision and transport of the the tDNA region into the plant genome. So the vir, uh, vir region on the TI plasmid is a collection of genes whose uh, collective function is to excise the tDNA region of the plasmid and promote its transfer and integration into the plant genome. Uh, phenolic compounds such as acetosinogen activate the VIR-A gene which is constitutively expressed transmembrane protein. The activated uh, VIR-A gene acts as a kinase that is phosphorylating the vir gene gene. In its phosphorylated form, the VIR-G acts as an activation trans activator of uh, transcription for the remaining VIR gene operons. So it's a cascade of events that is ha that will happen uh, from the virulent region. Uh, once uh, the phenolic components are induced, uh, it will activate the, uh, the VIR-A gene and um, that further act as a kinase for phosphorylating the another gene called the VIR-G gene. And uh, once it is phosphorylated, it act, uh, VIR-G gene acts as an activator of transcription for the remaining virulent genes. Uh, the VIR-D1 plus D2 uh, together have endonuclease activity and make single standard cuts within the left and right borders. Uh, the VIR-E acts as a single-stranded DNA binding protein protecting the single-stranded uh, tDNA region during the transport phase of the process. Once inside the plant cell, the complementary strand of the tDNA is synthesized. So these are the roles of uh, virulence region of the TI plasmid. So they are mainly involved, involved uh, it's actually a cascade of uh, events happening uh, uh, when there is a, a signal uh, from the phenolic compounds. So it's a cascade of events or the signal paths that activates the one after the other uh, and uh, making the uh, 
making the tdna region excised from the uh, the plasmid and transported into the plant genome the tdna region is flanked by direct repair sequence called the border sequences and the the tdna region gets incorporated into the plant genome and is responsible for inducing tumor the tdna region has genes for producing plant growth hormones like auxin cytokines and opines opines are nothing but uh, specialized amino acids so these are uh, specialized amino acids that bacteria can catabolize uh, only the agrobacterium can catabolize these kind of specialized uh, amino acids that is the speciality of this uh, amino acid Open catabolism region is responsible for catabolizing the specialized amino acids produced from the tdna region uh, based on the uh, the opine produced uh, ti plasmids are classified into two types they are nupaline type and the octopine type Optine, or opines acts as a nitrogenous source for agrobacterium tubifacients uh, the there are a variety of uses for the ti plasmid uh, it is widely used in plant genetic engineering it is also used uh, for transfer of genes in plants and also for development of stress tolerant plant varieties. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe.